Hello everybody and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 how-to video. Today we're going to talk about how PC players can sell their production facilities without having to destroy the building. But before that, this video is brought to you by Darren Cassell. Thank you for being a farm baron. So this video is going to apply to PC players and PC players alone because it requires you to activate the dev console and that is only available to PC players. It also is going to require you to enable the dash cheats runtime command when you launch the game and again that is going to be available for PC players only. I do hope Giants at some point comes out with an update that allows all players the ability to sell a production build building without having to destroy it because I think that is a, a gross oversight in Farming Simulator 22's production chain process. So the first thing you're going to have to do is you need to enable the dev console and that is this thing right here when I pull up that with the tilde key. In order to enable the dev console you need to make a very simple edit to your game XML file. I'm going to put a little tick up in the upper right corner. You can go watch a how-to video I made on how to enable the dev console and some of the basic dev console commands. You're also going to need to enable the dash cheats command to launch the game with the full suite of dev console commands. And I'm going to put another tick up there in the upper right corner to another video that I recently did, which was my top 10 dev console commands for various mod testing, map testing, and the sort. Early on in that video, I cover how to enable cheats for the Epic Launcher, the Steam Launcher, and the PC shortcut if you have the digital download or physical media copy of the game. So you will need to check out those two videos just to reference how to enable cheats and how to enable the dev console. In my opinion, the top 10 video is definitely worth a watch if you're going to enable the dev console anyway because there are a lot of valuable console commands in there that can really help you out when you are testing and evaluating if you want to bring a new mod into your game save or if you want to bring a new map into your gameplay. So here we are on Elm Creek at the spinnery and it is fitting here at the spinnery because this is where I first found out that you cannot sell production in Farming Simulator 22. So if we come over here, we're going to go to our interactive icon and we're going to buy the spinnery for $60,000. And now at this point, if we come back up to this interactive icon, we can manage the production chains. We can see now we own the spinnery. We have access to that, but there is no way to unown the spinnery from within the game. The only way to really get rid of the spinnery is to go here and basically go to demolish and delete the spinnery for $30,000. We're going to lose $30,000 of our of our profits basically as a result of having to sell it at a loss. Then this facility will not exist. No one will be able to bring your wool here and sell it. At that point, someone will have to put down the spinnery and well, now you own it again. So we've got this vicious cycle. How can I not own the spinnery? Well, there's two commands that you're going to need to use. And this is how you're going to do it. First thing you need to do is bring up your dev console with the tilde key. And we're going to hit the tilde key a second time. Let's give the F1 menu. We're going to hit the tilde key a second time so we have the pound command up there. And we're going to type in GS production and we're going to hit tab. And I'm going to get to production points list. And I want to list out all of the production points on this map. And what I'm looking for is the entry for the spinnery. You can see production point spinnery is item number 10 on the list. And we have owner colon one. That means farm ID one is the owner of that production facility. That is you in single player. In multiplayer, there could be different farms, up to eight different farms. 
So depending on which farm owns a prediction or particular production point, then there will be different numbers there. But in single player, it's always one for if you own it and zero if you don't own it. And that is the important part here. Now, how do I sell a production point? Very simple. You set the owner back to zero and it is now sold. So we're gonna use the command GS production point set owner. And the way this format works is you'll see that it requires a production point identifier and a farmland ID to be provided. So we're gonna provide production point identifier is 10. That's why we want to learn the list command first. And then our farm ID is gonna be zero because we don't wanna be the owner of that anymore. When we hit enter, we no longer own the spinnery. So if we list this back out, you see the spinnery is now owned by owner zero. We go to our production chains. We have no production sites yet. And if we come back over here to our interactive icon, it's going to say, would you like to buy it for $60,000? Now, you may say to yourself, hey, I didn't get my money back. I want my money. Well, how do I do that? Well, it's very simple. You use another command. We're going to go to GS Money Add, and then we're going to type in 60000 And we have now added $60,000 to our bank account because we sold the spinnery, right? We're going to get our full money back because this is a production facility. It shouldn't lose value because we previously owned it. It's a business, it has value. And now, since it's no longer owned, anyone can bring their wool up here, including you or your cotton and sell it as if you never owned it. If you wanna own it again, well, you just go over there and buy it once more time and then you'll be able to use it as a production facility. So guys, that is how on PC, you can sell without deleting a production facility. Let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of this interesting little trick? I'm not gonna call it a hack because it's, it's available in game. It is an in-game console command that you can use at any point in time for whatever purpose you see. But I think this is an excellent way for people to sell a production point when they are done using it and they don't want to have to destroy it. Because I really do wish that there was a way in the base game that you could do that without using the dev console, without using the cheat commands and not having to list out the production, change the production owner via the console, and then run a money script in order to put money back into your bank account. And until next time, Happy farming.